video let us try to understand and explore autotestdata.com and which is basically a test data generation tool which is created by Sanjay from selector hub so this is a one of the most important tool which we can use on daily basis especially uh, testers uh, it can they can be manual testers or automation testers so we need a lot of test data sometimes when you are automating the test cases or when you executing the test cases we need a lot of test data right? to generate the test data we can use this particular tool so before explain uh, before exploring this tool i have seen uh, so many other test data generation tools like faker library which is available which will support java python and javascript and basically we have to write the script for that to generate the data and uh, apart from that i can also uh, i have also seen something called generatedata.com and online data generator.com so there are so many websites are available and after uh, seeing all those all those uh, applications or all those tools i could see some of the limitations in them and especially some tools are required to write our own script and some tools will generate the data but the number of rows will be very limited let's let's say we can just generate only 100 rows or 500 or 1000 rows not more than that and some tools will provide only limited number of types so we cannot generate all types of data so only limited number of uh, data types will be provided and uh, different formats not supported so different formats so for example i need json or i need csv or excel or html so different formats of data so very limited formats will be supported and they are not much simple to use also sometimes so i could see these are uh, different uh, limitations in other tools while exploring uh, those tools but once you start using auto test data so it is very user friendly and at the same time it is provided so many types and uh, uh, simple very within three steps so just with three steps we can simply generate test data so only thing is we need to just choose what are the fields we want to generate and second step we have to just select which format of data we want in which format we want to generate the data and how many rows you need to generate just specify these three things and simply you can generate the test data so let us try to explore this tool what exactly they have provided and what are the features are available in this and as soon as you open this autotestdata.com so you can also navigate from here selectorhub.com so this is a tool auto test data auto test data when you click on this explore so it will automatically navigate this autotestdata.com or else you can directly open the website so as soon as you see here generate test data in three steps just we need to follow only three steps and only the thing is we need to specify what are the types and what type of what format of data we want to generate and then how many number of rows simple so if i look at here data types you can see by default uh, five data types they have given so names phone email currency and number range and if you just expand this you can see different type of data like region postal country alphanumeric number range currency date some other uh, data types also provided in this so you can see name uh, this is a property name so this is the first field so here data types we can select and the second field we can specify the property name like suppose by default the name phone email currency number is uh, displayed here and if you just want to change this you can simply say like this so like a first name okay so we can just rename this like this our phone number instead of phone number you can say contact number or instead of email you can say uh, email id something like this you can modify these property names and uh, additionally they have provided some more options if you want to customize the data and you can simply use these options for example email i want to generate all gmail ids so simply you can say gmail.com or if you want to generate or yahoo email yahoo emails you can simply say yahoo.com so like this you can specify and the currency range also you can specify suppose i want to generate the currency value uh, between two ranges so for example 100 dollars to 500 dollars i want to generate the currency you can specify the range and also number range so here you can specify the number range in within the uh, in which range you want to generate the numbers let's say i want to generate 10 to 100 Right, so these are the default fields they have provided and if you want to add more number of uh, fields you can simply select this drop down and you can simply add suppose i just want to add something else let's say i want to add uh, postal or gym so click on this add and now the new data type field is got added and postal address and one more uh, beautiful feature is here you can simply select 
on which country the postal address will be generated so currently three countries are listed here so accordingly the postal uh, code id or zip id will be generated you can simply select one of the option here so like this you can add more number of data types and you can just provide the name property name by default the property name will be displayed if if you want to use some other property name you can just rename this and whatever options you require so you can just provide here and suppose if you don't want to have any other field simply you can uh, click on this uh, delete button so obviously that particular field will be got deleted okay so once you provided here all the data whatever uh, things you need in the data simply you can click on uh, just go to the second section choose data format and this is another uh, step second step and which format you want to have data so suppose json by default it is selected and if you need any other format you can select whichever format you want and then number of rows you required how many number of rows you need so you can just specify how many number of rows required click on generate so as soon as we have click on generate then you can see the data is got generated in the json format see the first name and phone email address and if i look at the email address we whatever i have given here in the optional field so the same thing is got displayed and currency value if i look at here i have given the range here 100 to 500 so in every currency value is uh, should between uh, 100 to 500 if i just look at here and postal code is automatically generated so it's dynamically generated based on india suppose uh, if i change this so for example here i'm changing usa and then i want to get refresh data simply you can click on generate or you can just refresh it here and automatically the new postal code is got generated according to the country which we selected here okay this is the one more feature suppose i want to get something csv format of data i can simply select csv and then generate now we can see the same data in the csv format this data is randomly generated and similarly you can select whichever format of data you want you can just simply select and click on generate or here refresh you will get the data here and after uh, generated data is got generated simply you can click on the download so it is downloading the file simply it will start downloading the file i'm just clicking on the download <coughs> oh, let us take a json and click on generated and now you can just click on the download now file is got downloaded so, or you can also copy the file you can also copy the data like this and you can paste in some other notepad or text editor whatever you want okay and similarly you can say html and then refresh and then you can see the data is got generated in html format so like this various formats of data uh, is available here we can generate the data whichever format you want and one more important thing is separated by pipe sometimes we need data for btd framework especially when you're working with the cucumber so we need to prepare the test data by separating the data using pipe so that option is also available you can just select this separated by pipe and then click on generate now we can see the data is got generated so this particular data you can just copy here by using this copy option you can select and copy and you can use you can paste this same data in your feature file or something somewhere else so this is option is also provided as soon as you click on the download so it will be automatically downloaded in the format in that particular format simple very three only three steps you need to just provide whatever the fields you need and then you need to just specify the format and then specify the number of rows click on generate so data is ready and few more options are provided here for example uh, if you want to uh, if you don't want to have this particular field so obviously you can simply uh, delete this so for example i don't want this currency simply you can just click on this it will be automatically deleted and that is one option and after deleting you can simply refresh and the data will be refreshed here new data set will be created and the other option is suppose if you want to rearrange this uh, fields let's say first i want to display the email address so you can simply drag and drop like this so you can place the email in the first position and suppose i want to put this phone number at the last so i can just re rearrange like this so after rearranging automatically rest of them also automatically switched and then you can simply click on select the which for whichever format you want and then click on generate see here automatically the data is got generated first 
first field is email address and then first name so we provided same email address and then first name okay so all these formats most of the formats are supported here especially when you do api testing most of the times we use json or xml or sometimes we also use csv format and apart from this if you want to use or if you want to generate the data in any other formats you can use this format like excel is supported php ruby python perl javascript sql right and especially when you're working with the bdd type of frameworks this will be very very useful feature separated by pipe and how many number of rows you can generate as per your wish you can simply say 100 rows click on generate so 100 rows will be automatically generated and also i could see it works very faster and even if i give 10 or 100 it is taking almost the same time to generate the data here okay so simply you can just copy this data in the notepad or somewhere and you can use it for your testing okay so these are the uh, different fields which are available in auto test data very user friendly so there is no script is required no installation is required uh, no registration is required simply open the website and provide whatever fields you require and if you need to add if you want to add some more fields you can simply add some more fields and then select the data format specify the number of rows and generate the data and then download and very simple straightforward we can use this tool okay so this is very very useful for testers especially uh, they can be manual testers or automation testers very useful you can try to use this tool okay so that's all for this video thanks for watching we'll see in the next video